Hello, Georgia551. It's time once again for another triple in the Candlepin Bowling Game, the 2018 edition. As I mentioned in the first video and the second, the reason why a lot of things don't work is because the game is kind of broken due to the fact that Facebook changed the way it does its privacy and what have not, and the maker of the game doesn't know what to do yet. So I always, just for the heck of it, hit the challenge mode just to see if anything will happen, and it doesn't. So we're still stuck with the quick play that does nothing really. I'm pressing the button. This is a very buggy game. That looks like Lita Lanes, and in fact that is Lita Lanes. And that's Riverwalk as it says it. I've been to both. Alright. Now that the game is going, and we know the volume in-game volume is kind of crap, we raise it. And one thing I've noticed is the distance between pins from front to back is way too small, but perhaps that's done on purpose. Anyway, high single in this game is a 125 from me, so let's see how this goes. Frame one ball one, and off to the side. Half Worcester in the six. Ball two. Exactly the opposite direction I aimed in. A little bit better. Now we're starting with a wonderful five. Frame two, ball one. side. Hmm, don't know what to make of that. Well, if we make the head pin off to the Brooklyn side, we should get a spare. That's what I think we're going to get. Oh, that piece of wood screwed us. It was a good shot, though. And I aimed right. It went barely left. We'll take the nine. Frame three, ball one. Of course, if you can't tell, I'm in a laundromat. Uh, hence all the extra noise in the background. Ball two. Maybe the wood action will help. Oh, yeah, I should have remembered the wood was behind the pins. It was just seconds ago that I was playing. And we just barely slid that pin over to make seven instead of eight. Ouch. And we got a Mason's pin. The nine is a Mason's pin. You can see it tilted there in the back. Well, that almost helped. Now now it looks like the uh, the five pins the mason's pin. Oh, the piece of wood might do something. It did. Made a 10. It's funny, whenever I get a 10 or a mark, the pins automatically just re all reappear, all set up. Yeah, that wasn't a bad shot, but okay, we got a new palace left. Dennis Nuzzo and I have different terms for the new palace. He calls the new palace the uh, what the half whisters are, and me it's every pin but one in the back row on the first ball. That's not enough. Let's see if we can get another ten. Too little, too late. This should have been the second ball. Halftime report. The five is the worst thing. And a pair of tens. We're at an okay 41. Frame six. Ooh, that might be a little too full. And it was. Spread eagle with prey in one with prey in one talon. Ball two. Will it 
tap. No, it won't. And through the hoop again. That'll be a three. Wonderful. Well, it looks like this game's garbage. And it may or may not have been a good thing. Although the piece of wood between the two and the seven could be a good thing. Like there. Oh, wow. Robbed again. I think the pins are too fat, which makes them too heavy, which means I get screwed. At least we get a nine. Frame eight ball one. We need a mark. Oh, we got a massive Mason's pin in the back there with the nine or the eight. Well, we know we're not going to go through the hoop this time. And then it suddenly just goes middle instead. Yep, this game is garbage. Mediocrity at best. Frame 9, ball 1. Half Worcester. Or as Dennis Nuzzo would call it, the New Palace. But as I say on my uh, my channel, the New Palace is every pin falls on the first ball except for one in the back row. Usually the seven or nine is the one that fails. We could get an eight out of this. Problem is we got a piece of wood that's moving. We can hit this pins button and we can s take a closer look. Yeah, that pin is definitely out of bounds. So you got to wait for it to move. As slow and painful as it is. Well, in this game, I guess if you, even if you hit it, it'll still count, but we don't want to. Alright, a decent nine. Last frame, ball one. Yeah. Couldn't have went a little more to the left, could we? And a ten. That came up a little fast. Mediocrity. So, let's try again. Now, I'm not sure, but I think this might take a dump. So what I'm going to do, because I if I hit the replay button on the left, it'll take a dump. So I'm just going to hit the home button. Yeah, it seems no matter what, it just freezes. We'll be back. We are back. Game number two. I don't have to stop the recording. I have to stop and restart the game. It stutters a lot because it doesn't like the 60 frame per second recording. But, as you know, it won't be submitted to the leaderboard because I can't figure out the Facebook issue right now. Alright, my high single, as I said before, is a 125. I don't think we'll hit that. I think I got lucky at hitting hundreds again last week. This will probably... Be very likely be the first week we don't hit 100. Although that's not too bad. 
Oh, these very heavy fat pins just don't go over. Well, we might get a nine or just stick with eight. If we stay at eight or higher, we'll at least be at the bottom end of average ability according to ICBA records of casual league play. And there we go. That almost was a new palace left. Two El Stinko the bonus balls. Let's see what they add up to. So far, not too much. Actually, not too bad for what I threw. Six so far for a fill. And that'll be it. El Stinko 2 lives up to its name with nothing. Now, because of the mark in the fill, we can afford something under eight, but we don't want that, and that shouldn't happen. Not by much, though. Seven. Well, the washing machine I use is not very well tied down to the foundation. Frame four, ball one. It's not the worst one in here. Nice pocket hit, but now it's the four pin that remains. That will not... That's not a new palace, as I call it. The new palace was when I got robbed from a strike, and it was the 10-pin that was wobbling but never went. Wish it was ball two moment. But we got a 10. Frame four, ball one or frame five. Again, a pocket hit, but then that happens. And just too far to the left. Yeah, that was a goofy easy one. There, an eight. Halftime report. Once we get going. Halftime, we got the strike in the second frame. And so, not quite curse of the fill, but it wasn't the greatest. Because we got a seven in frame three. The first ball being the six, the six fill. So we're at 49, which isn't all too bad. That's too full. Again, spread eagle of prey in the left talon from our sight. Wrong direction, but too full. Could have been good. Goes the wrong way again. I swear this phone has no accuracy. I aimed right at the, I aimed right in the 2-4 pocket, and that's what I got. Okay, the whole back row is down, and well, got the diamond in the middle. Let's see what that does. Yeah, it was very unlikely to get a spare, but... All right, I guess. Lobbed it, but that's a 10. Frame eight ball one. Half Worcester. Nope. Took out the whole left side. That's too far to the right. Still have a seven. Maybe we'll get an eight or a nine. Just has to tap. That's all I had to have done. Frame nine, ball one. Way to the right. Ball two. 
too. Decent pocket hit, but the wrong pocket in this case. Ball three. And a niner. Final frame. This might be a decent game. Frame 10, ball one. Way to the side. As I call that, the David Letterman left. Because all the other punch outs have a name. The four and the six don't have one. And that's going to be too full. But, okay. Now we just need to hit the right wing of that really stumpy eagle. That is too far to the right, and we end with six. We got a score of 87. Not bad. So, time to start the third game. And, of course, that means starting the game over. We are back for game number three. Will this be like one in series one and two where I get at least a hundred on the third? Probably not. Frame one ball one. Right side. Ball two. Way to the left. And a five to start. This could be failure sandwich. Two crappy games in the beginning and end, and a good one in the middle. Ten. Frame three, ball one. And ball three. And the middle for a seven. Frame four, ball one. That might be good. Uh, hair too full. Piece of wood against the two pin I don't like. There we go. That can help. Here comes El Stinko. Maybe all right. Strike on spare. Frame six, two El Stinkos before that. Halftime report. Really crappy in the beginning of the five, then a ten of seven, then a spare. Now, which I got the strike, so that makes the 10 fill. So we're at least a 52. Well, Stinko 1 kind of lives up to its name. Well, actually, a little bit of help in the back makes it halfway decent. And, well. Seven fill for strike, not the best, but for the score as a whole, not too bad. 
and way off to the right, and we're left with the seven. Frame seven, ball one. Way to the side. Ball two. That looks better, might be too full. Eh, kinda was. And will it hit? Of course not. Well, we might have a bottom end of average ability. Too full again. There we go, there's the Steve Brunchuk. You flick the ball 60 feet down the lane, hit your object pin, and you get penalized. Of course, that does happen. And this will be a crappy frame, because... Uh, why rebound? Actually, that could be a decent rebound. Nine from a spread eagle, and in this game, and with this phone, that's not too bad. Pocket. Makeable spare, but you need a phone with accuracy to do it. That might hit. And finally. Too little, too late. It didn't matter. But nine is still okay. Last frame. Sometimes the overly fat and very close pins tend to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. That's too far to the right. Cherry picked me nine. Yeah, they're from front to back, they're too close together. And, well, we might hit the first pin there. Now we got an eight. Well, of course it had to be one away. Welcome to my world. So, yeah, getting at least one game with three digits, we knew that wasn't going to happen at some point, and typically sooner than later. Still not too bad. And that's it for candle pin bowling. The third set of a, the third set of triples. Georgia five five one saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.